Hey everyone, it is Christy from Nightmare Toys, and this is our new show called Deadly Destinations. This show, we will take a look at America's most haunted places, and with me today is my co-host, Philip. Hey. It's me, Philip. Hello, Philip. <laughs> so we thought, what better way to open the show than the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining, The Stanley Hotel. We need to go there. Yes, we do need to go there. I'm we have not there. been there. We've talked about it. We've done some... Um, we've been close to it. Right. We've done some road trips and we've talked about it, but we haven't gone. The Stanley Hotel was built in 1909 by Freeland Oscar Stanley. He was seeking a place to improve his health. The hotel was designed to offer guests a luxurious stay and to showcase the stunning natural surroundings. The hotel's original design included a concert hall, billiards room, and a bowling alley. However, the hotel's history took a dark turn when F.O. Stanley's wife, Flora Stanley, passed away. After her death, many guests and staff members reported seeing her ghostly apparition in her room, room 407. There have also been reports of strange noises and unexplained activity throughout the hotel. I, I could definitely go there and go to sleep and never wake up. Until the, next Until the next morning. Yeah. I guarantee you. <laughs> no ghost I can, would. <laughs> I can vouch for that. I'm sure you could. <laughs> I know you're not a huge believer in ghosts. I am only because, yes, I have seen one. Um, I have talked about it on several podcasts I've done in the past. I, I probably have talked about it on our stuff too before, but that's another show. But I have seen a ghost when I was a kid. Um, I can picture it right now. And I have been through some other strange occurrences and other strange things too. So that's another. So you think Flora would uh, would come to you? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. She could. Well, she'll have to wake me up. Aside from Flora Stanley's ghostly apparition, there have been many other reported hauntings at the Stanley Hotel. Many guests and staff members have reported hearing footsteps and voices when no one is around. Doors have been known to open and close on their own, and objects have been seen moving without explanation. So one of the most famous ghost stories at the Stanley Hotel involves room 217. Stephen King stayed in this room in 1974 and reportedly had a nightmare about his young son being chased down the hotel's hallways by a fire hose that ended up wrapping around the boy. This nightmare inspired him to write The Shining. Since then, many guests who have stayed in room 217 have reported strange occurrences, including items moving and unexplained noises. So would you stay in that room? Yeah, yeah. I'll stay in both of them. You would stay in the room and both you would go to sleep. No problem. <laughs> I could completely While the walk rest in. of us are up going, what's going to happen? What's happening? Setting up cameras, can't wait for something to happen, go explore. That's yeah. me. <laughs> I may not have to wake up once to go to the bathroom properly, but other than that, I'm good. I think I could. I think, think I can you do can it. do it. Yeah. So the Stanley Hotel is a fascinating and spooky destination for those interested in the paranormal. From Flora Stanley's ghostly apparition to the reported hauntings in Room 217, there are plenty of stories to send shivers down your spine. Today, the hotel is still in operation and a popular tourist destination. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, a visit to the Stanley Hotel is sure to be an exciting visit. Yeah. Do, do you like The Shining? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like the movie and everything. I, and, uh, well, I'd like to wake up with, like, some 22-year-old twins walking down the hall. I don't think they were that old, though, were they? <laughs> no, they were not. Huh. Well. Wrong movie, babe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So if a couple of twin gals could come in, I'm all down for that. What about in the movie The Naked Lady? She's scary looking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see that would be <laughs> that would be scary. I don't want to see that. Well, thank you for watching our Stanley Hotel episode of Deadly Destinations. We will see you next week and make sure you hit that subscribe button.